in the quest to find the right makeup color that matches our skin perfectly such as the foundations the lipsticks those blushes and the lights we usually tend to get colors that seems right in our eyes or fit on the frame the best but after you bring it to the house and try it at home you begin to see that it doesn't fit our skin color at all it becomes awkward on our face much of this has to do with our skin's undertone before we crack down on what undertones are we have to know what tones are the tone of the skin is fair light medium dark super dark and the lights so if these are tones then what are undertones that is going to be our discussion for today undertones refers to the hidden color underneath your skin or the color that hides under your tone the hidden color underneath your skin or the color that hides under your tone if you get the understanding of what your skin undertone is it tells you the right foundation you should choose for your skin and other makeup products like blushes lipsticks and the lights let's move in a bit and talk about what the different undertones are with that you would know what your undertone is traditionally there are three types of undertones you have the warm undertone cool and neutral warm undertone the cool undertone and the neutral undertone if the base tone of your skin is yellow or golden that means you are warm if you see a hint of blues the pinks the reds under your skin it means you are cool if you see that your skin complements red blues together with yellows and gold it means you are neutral Determining your skin's undertone can be done in the comfort of your home. I'm going to teach you the best and simple way to determine your skin's undertone. First thing you can do to determine what your undertone is, is to check your veins. If you check your veins and you see greens under your veins, if the veins are green, like mine, it means you are a warm undertone. People with blue veins or purplish veins usually have cooler undertones. If you have neutral undertones, then your veins might appear colorless or it might match your skin. The second thing you can do is to assess your jewelry. Many people are more attracted to either silver jewelry or gold jewelry. People who tend to fit best in gold jewelry are normally warmer undertones. People who tend to fit best in platinum or silver jewelry are normally cooler undertones. And if you are the lucky one who can wear both gold jewelry or platinum jewelry or silver jewelry and it complements your skin best, that means you are a neutral undertone. All jewelry fit best, best on you. The other experiments one can do to test whether you are warm, cool or neutral undertone is the white and off-white experiment. True white tends to favor cooler undertones, meaning if you are cooler undertone, white flatters you best, whilst warm undertone looks great in off-white clothes. Warm undertone also tends to complement brown hues, whilst cooler tones complement black better. You can also experiment on your hair dye. People love to dye their hair. People who look great with gold dye normally tend to complement warm undertones. And those who look great in either platinum or ashy dyes tend to complement cooler colors. The fifth one is to consider the sun effect on your skin. You should always wear a sunscreen whether you tan or burn easily. People who actually burn under the sun are cooler undertones whilst those who turn under the sun are warm undertone. Also, when you take a white paper and place it over your face under the sun, the paper might reflect a yellow or red color 
using the sun. This describes whether you are warm undertone or cool undertone. So when the paper reflects yellow under the sun, it means you are warm undertone. When it reflects pink or red under the sun, it means you are cool undertone. Normally, a question people ask is how to find the right foundation shade with your undertone. Now that we have a fair knowledge on what our skin's undertone are, let's try to find the perfect foundation that has our undertone and that has our tone. So when checking for a foundation, always check the tone. If you are dark, you don't go for a fair foundation. You don't go for a light foundation. If you are medium, you go for a medium foundation. If you are fair, you go for a fair foundation. That is the first thing you have to do. That is the tone. After you find the tone of your foundation, which is fair, light, medium, dark or super dark, you have to find the undertone. How does a cool undertone foundation look like? A cool undertone foundation will appear slightly pink or red in the bottle. Avoid yellowish foundations on a cool toned skin. A warm undertone foundation appears slightly yellow or golden in its container. Neutral undertone foundations are neither overly yellow or overly pink. Instead, look for a combination of both. Neutral undertone foundations are normally peachy. They are peachy in its container. You should take note that merely looking at the undertone of a foundation in a bottle will not give you a perfect match unless you swatch it on your neck. After choosing the tone of your foundation, which is fair, light, medium, dark, super dark and the light, swatch it from your jawline to the neck and blend it in. If the foundation has a warm undertone, it will appear yellow, slightly yellow on your skin. If the foundation has a cool undertone, it will appear pinkish or slightly red on your skin. If you see that the foundation is a little peachy or orange, it means it's a neutral undertone foundation. Some beauty industries have made the undertones of foundation so easy for us by labeling it as N, which is neutral, W, which is warm, and C, which is cool. So that when you are choosing from their palette, you know that N is neutral, C is cool, W is warm. MAC Cosmetics are the only brand which brands their products slightly opposite from the rest of the beauty industry. Their NW, which is neutral warm, is rather for cooler undertones. Their NC, which is neutral cool, is rather for warmer undertones. The bottom line is your undertone can provide some insights into what seems best against your natural skin color. Still, your personal preferences are more important than what any color chart can suggest. If you feel happy and healthy in a color that's considered outside your hue, you can as well go for it. At the end of the day, you should wear whatever makes you feel happy. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you love and enjoy it. Be encouraged and stay in beauty. Bye.